Hi everyone. <clears throat> okay, so this is my second video. Um, just doing a trying a quick assessment of uh, shortwave radio, um, how it's declining in the last well five years really uh, since I've been collecting the WRTH. So this is the book that I bought or that I was given when I got back into uh, DXing uh, five years ago. And then uh, these are all the editions, uh, including this year's 2021, um, that I've that I've collected since then, and um, and I've done this before, but um, it's just interesting to to to, to review these um, and look at the, 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 you know the approximate number of shortwave stations listed in here by frequency to get a view on how uh, shortwave broadcasting is sort of declining globally. And um, and what you find is that there is a decline, but it's not it it doesn't sort of feel catastrophic. Um, and then when you actually look at the, the number of English broadcasts, English language broadcasts, um, clearly f via fewer stations, um, again it doesn't sort of feel particularly catastrophic at all, particularly not over the last sort of five years. So um, by comparison, so basically in twenty sixteen. And I use the the reason you can compare these is because this particular format uh, and typeset has been used by the WRTH since at least I've, the oldest I've got in this format is 2002, and I'll come on to that. Um, so you can make a comparison. So basically, in 2016, there were 23 pages of shortwave stations across the world listed by frequency. So starting on 120 meters, so 23. 2017 was still 23, and then in 2018 it dropped to 21 pages. In 2019, it stayed at 21. Last year, it dropped to 19, and then this year, it's dropped to 18. So in five years, um, it, it's dropped from 23 pages to 18. So we've lost five pages, basically. So, you know, give or take that, what does that equate to? About 20, about 25%, which is still a big reduction. Um, but uh, what it means is, is that at that, at that rate, um, we're going to have shortwave broadcast uh, stations available to listen to for you know another 15 years at least um and you know and but you know a lot of it depends on the state of the world and at the moment you know well for the past sort of two or three years the world's seemed like a much more sort of volatile place i mean it, it the world felt like it was becoming more volatile before covid and now with covid and everything else it, it feels you know it feels like we're in an even worse place and i think there's enough evidence to sort of suggest that international broadcasting shortwave radio you know feels a bit more uh, um, importance not the right word but it just feels a bit more appropriate to sort of continue um, uh, a bit more relevant I suppose um, when there's trouble in in the world um, and a good example of that is you know all the issues with North Korea you know, I don't want to get political but um, uh, you know for example the BBC started broadcasting um, more, well more programming into North Korea um, and I'm sure you know, Australia started, um, uh, or New Zealand, uh, you know, is, 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 is now operating uh, into the Pacific to kind of cover for the Radio Australia dropping out, you know. So, you know, I think at the end of the day, um, shortwave will be around for quite a long time yet. Um, but uh, in actual real terms, the in term, uh, listing stations by frequency, we've gone from 23 pages of stations. I'm not. I wasn't going to count them all in in 2016 to 18 in 2021. But if you actually then compare the number of pages, because they also list the um, broadcast by language. And um, so, for example, in 2016, there were six and a half pages of uh, listed of shortwave broadcasts in English. So six and a half. In 2017, it actually went up to seven, and then in 2018. Uh, it went down to um, six and three quarters. In 2019, it was it was also six and three quarters. And then last year, six and a half. And then this year, six. So it was six and a half pages in 2016 and six now. So I, I think overall, what you can say is that in the last five years, the, the total kind of volume of shortwave transmissions in the English language hasn't really changed at all uh, in five years. And, um, and maybe that is a kind of more accurate measure uh, of the relevance of shortwave radio in the 21st century. Sure, the number of stations has diminished because a lot of these stations, for example, in South America, were regional stations, um, you know, uh, Radio Club de Para, 
as a good example. And, you know, a lot of the South American, well, nearly all of the South American regional stations seem to have disappeared. Um, and that and that obviously has a, is a big contribution to the total number of stations broadcasting. But in ter- as I said, in terms of English transmissions, it's not really changed very much in five years. So that in mind, what happens if you then compare it to the oldest copy of the WRTH that I own that uses the same format typeset? And that's this one, 2002. Um, the, they use a different type of paper, but the, the, the format and the typeset is exactly the same. So in 2002, so basically 19 years ago, there were 35 pages of shortwave stations listed by frequency. Uh, and today there are 18. So basically there's been a that's a you know there's there's ha- only half of the total number of shortwave stations uh around today than there was in 2002 19 years ago so you know a big reduction in 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 basically the last 20 years uh roughly half the number of stations um in terms of english broadcasting in 2002 there were nine and a half pages and as i said today there are six so there's been a reduction in english broadcasting but the rate but that the rate of of drop in English in broadcasting in English or the the volume of English broadcast is much lower than the total number of stations that have gone uh, from the bands. So even that is uh, you know is it, it, you know it feels a bit more positive. So there you go. So that's where it's at. I did this video last year, but probably not in quite as much detail. I can't remember. I don't think I looked at the English broadcasting. So, um, you know, we all know that the, the, the shortwave radio has been in decline. Um, and it is, and I'm sure it will continue. But in terms of its relevance today, the fact that in the last five years, you know, there's still basically the same number of broadcasts in our language. And, put, you know, I'm sure that you could do the same evaluation for, you know, French and German and Chinese, et cetera, et cetera. Um, to me, it says that situations maybe not quite so dire uh, as we thought. So, um, so there you go. Anyway, I hope that was interesting. I found it interesting. Uh, the results are quite interesting, um, and uh, I think we can conclude that all is not lost. We just need to keep listening to the radio, keep contacting the the uh, uh, the stations, give you know, giving them reports, etc. And uh, who knows what will happen? You know, hopefully. Um, uh some of these stations you know will will stay on air for many years to come that's my sincere hope anyway and um as i said even though i'm now a sort of fully qualified fully qualified um uh radio amateur uh, i'll i'll always be a dx at heart because that's where i started on this road uh, many years ago so there you go anyway i hope you enjoyed that i wish you great dx happy new year and thanks for watching and i'll talk to you soon 73